so this is going to be entirely out of context unless you've been following chat, but I would just like to comment that, man, the Ghost in the Shell standalone complex soundtrack was just awesome. But then again, it was a Yoko Kano soundtrack, so of course it was awesome. And now I have that that song stuck in my head. Inner Universe is amazing. I wasn't as fond of the, the second season opening, but man, Inner Universe, what a track. So yeah, I'm back, finally. Uh, Bus Plague has mostly subsided again. I just have some minor chest congestion and coughing. Uh, occasional stuffed upness, but we're we're pretty much back to normal now. Only four more working Mondays until the end of the school season. And then I'm not sure what I'm doing <laughs> until, you know, August when school starts up again. We'll have to figure something out. All righty. See if I remember how to actually do this stuff. Tay, what are we playing today? This is how you welcome me back, Tay? Or are you punishing me from being gone? Honestly. You, you, you'd think she doesn't want me to, to come back. Yeah, and it should have been more than half a year. It, it can just stay off. Yay, TH Crap has patched the crap game. No, no, no. I should be good. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to store a replay. What the hell? Why was why is that even an option? Exit and store a replay of whatever you the hell you were doing? No. Alright. Let's see how we can deal with Sony. I don't want things to go very long because I don't want to go into after hours. Yeah, yeah, definitely. 10 second 1 CC. It, it was, it's the, the hidden fast clear and it, it's the best clear because it's the one where you decide fuck this game, I'm leaving. Also, fuck this game. Yeah, be careful with tornadoes. They are no joke, guys. I fully expect if you get told to seek shelter, you just turn the stream off and get the fuck to safety.
Bye, Saren. Sharknado! My god. <laughs> it reminds me of this line about Bruto Max, which is uh, in the, the same vein as Power Thirst. And it's talking about, you know, you'll, you'll feel like a, a Volkswagen Golf, uh, like a tornado full of Volkswagen Golfs, full of Steven Seagals shooting smaller tornadoes full of Volkswagen Golfs. And... <laughs> you'll feel just like Einstein if he was a luchador. Some kind of badass Matryoshka effect. No, everything is ruined. Just like the franchise, everything is real. Although, it's really impressive that Disney managed to produce a trilogy that made me forgive the prequel trilogy. <laughs> yeah, the Phantom Menace wasn't all that bad. I was a little annoyed at all the extra slapstick that they added in, but yeah, it was okay. I mean, we saw that they were kind of going that route anyway with the, uh, the special editions of the original trilogy. Like, what? why did we need this? But... Okay, we have Jar Jar Binks now. Whose who's story in Legacy just gets even worse? Because, you know, nobody liked him. And, and then he becomes the senator for Naboo, the junior senator. And then he... and you No, know, he's not even a Sith Lord. He's just a schmuck. I almost said schmo, but that would have been really mean to schmo. But yeah, so... So... He's not really that well liked by the fan base. He shows back up as a junior member of the Senate for Naboo. In the final movie, he ends up bringing about the downfall of the Republic. Because, you know, he gets snookered into, you know, calling for a vote of no confidence against the Chancellor. And that allows Palpatine to rise. And, and, you know, he thinks he's doing a good thing because everyone's cheering. It's all the bad people who wanted the, the, the pacifist chancellor out of the way. So after the fall of the Republic and the Jedi getting wiped out and everything, you, you end up finding out he, he's, you know, on some street corner in Kurosan as, like, a clown. And, and he's just a sad, pathetic being at this point. Yeah, yeah, the, they did his character dirty. 
But it's okay because his actor, um, the the actor who played Jar Jar, uh, got to be a, a Jedi Knight in one of the other series, and his character in that was actually a badass. So. Damn it, Ringo. Yeah, and, and then of course, if you watch the Clone Wars cartoon, uh, Dave Filoni does a pretty good job with the, the plotting in that series to fill in all the stupid plot holes and shit that Lucas left in the prequel trilogy and makes things make sense. So it pretty much, you, you pretty much fixed the prequel trilogy, but there's no fixing the shit that Disney made for the sequel trilogy. What the fucking hell? Somehow Palpatine has returned. God damn. I love democracy. And the part that he doesn't say is it's so easily manipulatable. Somehow the automatons have returned. Yes. Yes. So, Spade, uh, the rumor is we've actually been seeing on certain planets. Uh, the occasional Illuminate unit pop in. So I guess they're coming soonish. Yeah, yeah. And the unfortunate thing about things like the Mandalorian is it's so much better than what we got for the sequel trilogy, yet it's going to end up dragged down to that level because Disney's going to make it have to tie into all the shitty canon that they made up. Yeah, like Rogue One was good from what I understand. The solo movie is arguable, but, but still better than the sequel trilogies. God damn it. Y you give it to Mystery Box Abrams, who just basically retells A New Hope. Yeah. Rian Johnson at least tried to do something different, but everyone hated that. Uh, to some extent, rightly so. And then we get Rise of Skywalker, where everything that was supposedly going to be canon and left alone, they do their best to retcon anyway and ruin a bunch of interesting stuff they were doing with the characters in the second movie. And it's like, why? 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 Yeah. Yeah, Spade. It's going to be a three-front war. It's going to be great. I don't recall how the last major orders went, but I guess they, they didn't go too well. But hey, we get to test out the anti, uh, or the, the airburst rocket launcher. God damn it. I'm dumb. And evidently the anti-tank mines are uh, awaiting us on another planet to test, but we don't have access to that planet yet, because we have to go through another one first. Unfortunately, I have not helped spread managed democracy for a while, because my playing partner has been trying to fix their sleep schedule, and they're, they're still working on Because they live in California, 
in the desert, and it's hell when the, when the temperatures start to go up, and they're trying to adjust so that they're awake at night. Now, now that just that just sounds like treason talk, there, Shmo. Managed democracy is the cornerstone of advanced civilization. Are you trying to suggest that there are better forms of government, like some dirty commie or something? It's type safe and case sensitive. And it's memory safe. Well, it's always safe. Yeah, if it ever looks like it wasn't safe, well, we just knew that that was going to happen anyway, and we're planning to, to deal with it, so... Fuck you, Dorani. <laughs> White space dependent. White space dependent. Yes. Python rules over all. Oh, oh, jeez, Schmo, yeah. Now, the, w the worst part is column-specific. Yeah, we're not just white space uh, significant. It's exactly specific columns. Fuck Cobalt. Fuck Fortress. Oh, yeah, so I just casually cap this card. God damn it. Spaces. Tabs take up too much room by default. Unless you can configure what the actual tab use is, in which case that's okay. But then you have to worry about pulling in code from other locations that have tabs embedded that are, you know, just... yeah, yeah, I said it, spaces, not tabs. I don't need eight spaces for one character to indent. Eight spaces, Schmo, in one tab by default. I don't remember where I had that. It, it was in one editor or something. It's, it was dumb. Now, if I can configure a tab to be two spaces, that's fine. That's still double what I prefer. Why do you need four spaces? Two is sufficient. I mean, it really doesn't matter either way. But <laughs> Schmo is ready, so we're going to go ahead and hand things over to left-handed Schmo for round three. And because he's a tab user, 